The service of nine lessons and carols here at St. Giles Cathedral is undoubtedly one of the high points of the musical year at George Watson's College. It is also the point when, for many of us, Christmas really starts. Unfortunately, for the second year running, we've been unable to welcome as many people as we would like to join us on this joyful occasion. However, we have been able to bring our choirs and our readers together in the cathedral this year to begin the celebration of Christmas as it should be celebrated. And as an additional good thing, we've been able to welcome you, wherever you are in your homes, in the city, in the country, or indeed around the world, and bring you, we hope, the spirit of Christmas. Thank you for joining us, and happy Christmas. in royal David city stood I lowly cattle shed where a mother laid her baby in a manger for his bed Mary was that mother mild Child. 
friends from George Watson's. Welcome to St Giles Cathedral, the High Kirk of Edinburgh, in this Christmas season. Let it be our duty and delight to hear once more the message of the angels, to go to Bethlehem and see the Son of God lying in the manger. Let us hear and heed in Holy Scripture the story of God's loving purpose from the time of our rebellion against God until the glorious redemption brought to us by the Holy Child, Jesus. And let us make this place glad with our carols of praise. But first, let us pray for the needs of God's whole world. Let us pray. For peace and justice on earth, for the unity and mission of the church for which Christ died, and especially for Christ's church in our country and in this city. And because God particularly loves them, let us remember in the poor, and because God particularly loves them, let us remember the poor and the helpless, the cold, the hungry and the oppressed, the sick and those who mourn, the lonely and unloved, the aged and little children. Finally, let us remember before God his pure and lowly mother and that whole multitude which no one can number whose hope was in the word made flesh and with whom in Jesus we are one forevermore. May Almighty God bless us with grace. Christ give us the joys of everlasting life and to the fellowship of the citizens above. May the King of angels bring us all. Amen. God announces in the Garden of Eden that the seed of woman shall bruise the serpent's head. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. 
and Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, Who told thee that thou wast naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree, whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat? And the man said, The woman whom thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Thanks be to God. God promises to faithful Abraham that in his seed shall the nations of the earth be blessed. And the angel of the Lord called unto Abraham out of heaven the second time and said, By myself have I sworn, saith the Lord, for because thou hast done this thing and hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, that in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed, as the stars of the heaven, and as the sand which is upon the seashore. And thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies, and in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou hast obeyed my voice. Thanks be to God.
Christ's birth and the kingdom are foretold by Isaiah. The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them hath the light shined. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. Upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom, to order it and establish it with judgment and justice from henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Thanks be to God.
prophet Micah foretells the glory of little Bethlehem. But thou, Bethlehem Ephrata, though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me that is to be ruler in Israel, whose goings forth have been from of old, from everlasting. Therefore will he give them up until the time that she which travaileth hath brought forth. Then the remnant of his brethren shall return unto the children of Israel, and he shall stand and feed in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God, and they shall abide. For now shall he be great unto the ends of the earth. Thanks be to God. The angel Gabriel salutes the Blessed Virgin Mary. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou art highly favoured, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favour with God, and behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shalt call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest, and the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob for ever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the Highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. Thanks be to God. St. Luke tells of the birth of Jesus. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Thanks be to God. Oh uh -huh. 
the shepherds go to the manger. And there were, in the same country, shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, which is Christ the Lord, and this shall be a sign unto ye. You shall find the babe, wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary, and Joseph, and the babe lying in a manger. Thanks be to God. The wise men are led by the star to Jesus. 
Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen a star in the east and are come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled at all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet. And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had heard privily, called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child, and when ye have found him, bring me word again, that I may come and worship him also. When they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy, and when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. Thanks be to God. St. John unfolds the great mystery of the Incarnation. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. 
all things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Thanks be to God. During our prayers, the response to the bidding, Lord, in your mercy, is hear our prayer. Let us pray. God, who gave us hearts to love each other, hands to fashion the world around us, and minds to think and learn and improve our communities, we give you thanks for the blessings bestowed on all this day. We give thanks for George Watson's College, for teachers and students engaged in the sacred task of educating and learning, for the support staff and administrators, ground staff and janitors, all who make the mission of the college possible. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. You are a God of truth who loves your world. So bless the work of all schools and colleges and universities that in, in them the truth may never be denied, betrayed or concealed, but be honored, followed and obeyed guide teachers and students in their endeavors to seek and serve the truth. May their learning never cut them off from the community, but lead them towards enlarged and selfless service 
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O God, who came to us in the vulnerability of a little baby and whose family was displaced by the violence of a tyrant, hear our prayers for the most vulnerable in our world, children without proper shelter and sustenance, families wandering as refugees, parents fearful for their children's future. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And accompany us again to that stable in Bethlehem, in which lies the hope for a world of peace and love and goodwill. And may that hope become a reality in our world this Christmas and forevermore. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Amen. go in peace this Christmas season. Be of good courage, render no one evil for evil, but hold fast to the good, honour all of God's children, and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore. Amen. <laughs> 